Give me a moment. You have to tell them, Trace. You have to prove it. They can't just... You can't let them give people choices like this. I'll do it. I failed him, Trace. That's what she wants. Out of anything, it's for the truth to get out. Hey, what's wrong? Jen says you're being scary. We have to stop Barker and the General. Wait, uh, why do we need to stop him? I'm sure that he has a reason for whatever is... Power or petty revenge. It doesn't matter. If I destroy the pictures and the videos and the cards and all of their false evidence, will you two help me? Of course. I should go. I can't. Please, Naveen. I'll be back in an hour. The general will be suspicious if I'm gone too long. We'll, su we'll get started without you. Thank you. Thank you both. You're gonna get us killed, you know. Let's find out. Until the end. You guys used to vacation here? Once every summer, for a weekend. Adrian, come here. What? I said, Adrian, come here. Adrian? I'm sorry. You're safe. As soon as I got here, I... You found her? <sighs> Damn. Can we get you anything to eat? We should, we should try to move you. Don't. Then what? If we don't get you to medical attention... We could try to find but some more... won't do anything. It started about two months ago, before the student uprising and everything that came with it. Without my medication, it must have actually reached stage five. Actual kidney failure. I can't know when it happened. The treatment is impossible. The flaws of the post-virus world. Then what are we supposed to trace? All right, here you go, Adrian. Thanks, Harry. I'm glad we found you so soon. I've only been here for a day or so. Why Barnes? I mean, I thought you'd come here, but why? It's safe. I may have been delirious. I saw the rocks out back where we used to climb. Yeah. You're not a kid anymore, huh? Does anyone get to be post-virus? That is actually a good point. I meant more than that, though. Well, I am an exceptional hunter-gatherer and medic. And I'm going to protect you, like you do. 
don't try to be a shield. Just be honest with me. What's your favorite thing? Like, your favorite thing ever. My favorite thing? Um, Pringle. A dumb car. We need to be practical. How long can we stay here? We have enough supplies for four days. It should be long enough. I'm sorry. What was that? Harry. I'm sorry. I know it's gonna be kinda hard to believe, but I understand completely. We arrested Everett. We wanted to travel with him. I wanted to travel. If you're filming yourself again, you'd stop that. Yeah. Yeah, I had. I... Yeah. Kimber? I'm listening. I'm just glad. Glad. Because... Will you tell me about Maddie? It's nothing you don't already know. Yeah, but... I still want to hear it. It was the right thing to do. I mean... It wasn't... It wasn't right. We weighed our options and it was the best choice. I never even saw her when she was away. Cobbs carried her out the back door like she was a sack of flour, fracking trash. Callie, Maddie's propped up in the back seat between you and Callie. She was mad. You, you checked her breathing a few times, and then you. You picked up her hand. <laughs> and listen, I, I flash back to when she exiled the refugees, and it was, it was the same hand. Weird, right? Yeah. And then we left her in the woods and thought our problems would be solved just like that. We never mentioned it. We never even talked about it. I didn't think you wanted to talk about it, and... I we... didn't either. But I soon realized that if I didn't, I had to learn how to talk all over again. But you... you... You moved on. You learned how to deal, and I thought I wouldn't ever. Trace, I... never learned to deal with it. I don't even know if that's possible. Then... You just... You get to know the person you are now. And you find people who can know that person too. Did you tell me about the cliff? That was... that was silly. That was one time... one time thing. It's just... I know you didn't get as far before... 
But it's happened twice now. After we exiled Maddie. That started. It started a few months into the winter of 2013. It wasn't. It wasn't the guilt. It was just. Like, I, I felt so awful. And I didn't deserve to feel guilty. I'm good enough for guilt, so. I don't think you have to worry about that. It became about... not about Maddie at all. It was... and sometimes still is. Like I'm sick. Like I'm watching the world through a sheet of glass and I... I can't... Can't what? Can't change anything. Well, I mean, it's not like you're outside of it. You're here. We're here. I don't even know if I can stay in Greenden anymore. And you won't. But I'll still be here to listen to you. Trace, I need your help. Kimber's breathing just got really shallow. Shit. Okay. It's on. Hi, Adrian of the future. I assumed that this would happen when we left Rangers gang and joined up with these weirdos. But I expected everything after to be like, I don't know. Like a dream. Yeah. There was nothing like a dream. No, it couldn't be the apocalypse for you. But even for me, None of it ever felt like a dream. I cared that I got to stay with you. Especially when you didn't need me anymore. I needed But you. I tried to keep things the same. And I messed up on the way. Kimber. No one blames you for any of it. I'm starting to realize that now. There's nothing I'd have you do differently. <laughs> no one could keep me safe. You taught me to be brave. You taught me to care about people. Right, Jen? Even now. Leave the camera off, Trace. I'm going to sleep. Don't need film for that. And... You guys were the greatest friends I ever had. I live for you guys. Change the world, Adrian. Thanks, Kimber. I love you.